what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are doing two more episodes of high q starting with episode 19 okay so um daichi is back we just finished up a match man and we're moving quite along as i said in the last reaction i don't expect oba josai to lose to date hopefully we get to see that match too hopefully that is the case they can rub out a couple of episodes with the, with that match and then they can finish up the season again with a hoba josai versus karasuna i'm ready i'm ready let's get it i'll see you guys for the review All right, what's going on, guys? Wow, the match is on. Aoba Josai versus Karasuno. Of course, you know I'm rooting for the boys, the Karasuno boys, man. I want him to win this. It's the perfect time to get revenge, a perfect um, way to move up, beating Seijo, you know, and gaining some more respect. I love the school. You know what I'm saying? I love the school. I love both of these schools when they play. I like to see both of them play. Um, but this guy, man, he's going to be a problem. And I think he's probably going to be the reason. Now that I think about it, he's probably going to be the reason why they lose. Because he's such a wild card. He doesn't listen. He's not necessarily a teammate. I mean, it. I guess as long as they win, they'll probably be like, Oh, he's cool on the team or whatever but I don't feel like that's the case I feel like maybe he's going to be the reason they lose because I don't see Karasuna losing this match if they lose again to this team it's over so knowing that Daichi and you know what I'm saying Asai and you know the manager and um, Suga you know what I'm saying this is their last chance of playing I don't think from a writing standpoint, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes for, 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 you know, for, for my own good, I try to, I read between the lines too much. This is something that, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I look at different things when I watch TV shows, anime and stuff like that, like I tend to overanalyze a lot of things in life. So, and it is no different for when I'm watching TV shows or anime, you know what I mean? So, when it comes on to this, like from a writing standpoint, if you really look at it, if you just go into this blindly, that's that's fine too. But for me, from a writing perspective, why would you let a team lose to the same team for the second time in a row? And right now, I know that the Haikyuu manga is done. It doesn't make sense because mainly if we're in... If we're in season four, right, how many more seasons are they going to do and the manga just finished? Like, you know, how many seasons are they going to do? I haven't read the manga, but I'm pretty sure it's not a much left to the story from what they've done, in, from what they're doing uh, or, or done in season four, which is the second half of season four is not is not even aired yet. Right. So and I've heard that Demon Slayer is is um manga wrapped up and also haiku has wrapped up this is this is just news this is news because i keep up with anime news i just don't i just don't watch the shows because i don't want to be spoiled about anything so it's like um so like one piece i know where you know what i'm saying i know where one piece is in the and in, in the anime and the manga I know where they are. I just don't know what the story is like right now. I just don't know where the story is like. Like, you know, so I keep up with anime news. You get what I'm saying? Because I want to know. Like, I I know I'm not really watching Boruto, but I know that they've just started the Kara arc, which is, which is what everybody's been waiting on for them to start because the manga has been straight fire. Um... I don't watch the anime, but I do read the manga. I, do, I read the manga. Um, I have been reading the manga, but just like the latest chapters ever since. Uh, let me not spoil anything for you guys, but Boruto, the, an the anime is something I'm going to check out in the future. Of course, I just never watched it at first. 
um, not because I wasn't interested, but because um, it is what it is. It is what it is. I just never checked it out, um, even though um, Naruto is my favorite um, anime and manga of all time, which is just my preference, okay? So when it comes on to, to Haikyuu, is what I'm saying from a writing perspective, it doesn't make sense for them to make Kurosuna lose again to this team. I can understand if they lose to Shiro Shirato Izawa, but I just don't understand why they would let them lose again to Oba Josai. This is a time for revenge. And it's going to be it's it's gonna be an ebb and flow. I know I know it's going to be an ebb and flow. It's going to be back and forth. I knew I know this is going to happen. Because if I was writing this story, of course I'm not going to make this an easy match for them. And for me, it doesn't lessen the enjoyment for myself. It's not what I'm doing. Um I want to see how it happens. I want to see how Karasuno wins. Then again, they might still lose. I'm just saying from a writing perspective, if I was writing this story, there's no way I would write it that way. But if they lose again, they lose again. Set them up for them moving on to Tanaka and all of them in a story. Who knows? But I'm saying in perspective of what I know, I just don't see that happening. But if it does, it does. You know what I'm saying? Um, so... I'm looking forward to see what else they're going to do um, with this story going forward. Of course, I want to see them go further and further and get better and better and better. I want to see that. I want to see these intense matches. When it comes on to when I was watching Ippo, I called a lot of the fights. I did. I called a lot of the fights, even though a lot of them were very up in the ear. A lot of the fights, you just know. You just know. You know what I mean? It's just like, and some of them I was completely wrong. You know what I'm saying? Completely wrong. Like Date versus Ippo, I call that completely wrong because I really thought that they were creating a character that was going to be undefeated, but that that's just not what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Except for the the character Ricardo, I think he was, um, um, the guy that beat Date. Woof, that guy's a beast. He's perfection, bro. Um, but anyways, when it comes on to sports anime, man, when you when you're when you're looking at it from a, from a writing perspective, it's not very much, very many avenues that you can go to. So you can, it kind of makes it predictable, but also not make it predictable. If you get what I'm saying, you get what I mean? Because you can call, you can be like, okay, uh, you want Karasuno to win, but are they going to win? You get what I'm saying? See if this was, if the manga was like miles ahead of the anime, I could say, okay, there's a possibility they might lose to this team again. But knowing what I know, as I've explained before, I don't see it happen. I just don't see no avenue for, for the, uh, why would you do that? And that's what I'm saying. Some, if you look at things, if you're not ignore being ignorant of certain things, you can break, basically predict things when it comes on to certain stories. If, if you get what I'm saying, like a lot of things you can call, you can predict, you can do these things. I don't know. People are going, if, if you're a reactor, people are going to be like, oh, you watch the show already. I've had it happen to me before where I predict something or predict a couple of things about what's happening. And they're like, oh, you watched the anime before. And it never bothers me. It never bothers me because I know who I am. I know how I analyze things. Um, I've read and listen, guys, I'm not, I'm not a teenager, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a teenager. I've been around, I've been watching TV shows and, 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 and um, and you know, story driven stuff, whether it's reading it in a book, there's only so much, so many different kind of stories that a person can write that can catch you off guard. If you're my age, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, after watching all this stuff and doing all of that, you kind of get an understanding of, you know, that these things are very straightforward sometimes. Um, it, As I said, it doesn't take me out of the immersion, unlike some people. Some people, if they know something is going to happen, it might take them out of the immersion of it. That's why when it comes on to, like, video games and stuff like that, I tell people, it's just like, I don't mind watching the story or being spoiled about video games because it's not going to stop me from enjoying the video game because the video game is about gameplay. Like 
you get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's about the gameplay. It's about if I want to, if I'm playing a game based on the story, it's a, it's a whole different story altogether. If I'm playing it for the story, but it's, it's just a whole different thing, right? So I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do more um, with this story um, and see how it turns out. Anyways, like the video, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace.